Hi, this is John again. This is my lab 12 of the road test I'm doing for the TI RSLK, the Robot System Learning Kit. And, and in this particular lab, you finally get some motor movement. It's taken 12 labs to get here, but hey, what the heck? Um, it's been a, a fun process, uh, learning, again, relearning a lot of the stuff uh, I've seen in some of the MOOCs and uh, actually uh, coming up with some new stuff as well. And uh, which in this particular case, because you have bumpers, you have other things that are going on. And so in, in this one, it, the idea was to set up uh, the brute force PWM uh, using a duty cycle and a, and a period and a time period that you're passing to these functions that you have to complete for going, uh, sending the motor forward, backwards, left, right. Um, and, then, uh, and then so you also interact with the bumper switches to have it stop when it's going forward. When it's going backwards, it doesn't really care. Um, that that's happening. So um, the final main function here is uh, you set up this main and then uh, you go in, you, you have, uh, you basically set it up and you just go into a while and it's uh, going through the series here. Uh, the pause is set to, to fourth the launch when one of the switches is pressed. And so it'll stop and sit here and then it'll go through a series here of going uh, forward then it stops, and then uh, then it goes backwards, then it goes left, and then it should stop. Um, if there is a bumper switch that's hit um, at this point, if it's, it reads it, then it'll go into this here to where it'll go backwards, and then uh, then it go left. Now, they just use uh, the hex values for passing to this launch pad output. Um, which actually basically sets the LEDs on the launch pad itself. And they use the hex values, kind of like here, where you're sending it off, but like one, two. But they also have these pound defines in the dot H, the launch pad dot H, which sets these. So to me, it's a little bit more visual to have the, the LEDs set, and then you can set both of them just ORM together. Uh, so I set a blue down here. It tells me I've got down into this here. Um, this is just a, a quick example, and since you're not using interrupts or timers or anything like that, um, it's basically, it has to go to this for loop, and you have to be in the right position in order to <clears throat> to read this bump value and then move into this area. And so if I go ahead and, and load this up, and also another thing to note, uh, with the motor controller board, uh, you do not want to have the power to the launch pad this is coming from the motor, motor board uh, the power to the launch pad connected while you have the USB connected and then I also have the the, the motor board off at doing that so let me go ahead and just start it you're not really going to see much with this um, just basically LEDs so if, I think if you hit a switch you probably see LED sequence so you go green red and stuff <coughs> and if we get a button yeah, we finally made it in there. And so that was that's what that does. We'll go ahead and stop that. Um, go ahead, remove power. We're gonna make sure that, and then plug the power in here. And then there's a switch over here to turn the motor controller board on, as well as a power button that's to turn it off. And so we get this thing up and running. Should be up. So if I hit a switch, go forward, and we go backwards, and then a left, and then if we do that again, and hit a bumper switch, the bumper switch will actually stop it from going a forward direction, and then you notice it went into that area of the code where it noticed the bumper switch, and then it went backwards and turned left again. Uh, that's indicated by the blue LED. I just set that that way so because I think they had it to where uh, you really couldn't tell because the color codes are about the same. But this way I can tell, okay, I made it in that loop because the LED turned blue. Um, can you see that? Mm. Yeah, see the LED turned blue. Okay, I guess all those jumper wires are blocking that. So I can do that again. Should go off. Go green. Although it's kind of bright. And then red. If I hit a bumper switch, it went red, and it should go blue. And uh, that's pretty much it. 
um, they're not interacting with the IR sensor doing any line following or something like that. I think that comes up next. In lab 13, they're actually uh, using the timers to, to set all this. Um, and uh, so that's going to be a little bit different. And uh, at some point down the road, you're going to set up to the, the sharp IR sensors as well and then run and do some line following. I may just do that because I'm kind of running out of time. And then I have some BLE and some Wi-Fi stuff to do as well. So that's pretty much lab 12. Uh, it's taken 12 labs to get some motor movement, but uh, so far it's been pretty cool. And uh, we'll see what happens next.